I have not forgotten about the mountain bike. It's just it's been cold and I haven't wanted to come out to the garage really to do much. So here it is, the GT Avalanche. It's a 29 inch wheel mountain bike. Not badly priced at 555, I think I paid. So I went ahead and ordered new pedals. I did that because my wife's bike, hers was broken. So I just put the nylon ones over to her bike for now. I bought these ones. Fuker. It's kind of funny, but pretty cool. They give you little extra little nubs. And I liked how they go on because you just use an Allen on the backside. Show you that guy. I think that's an 8 mil. I forget. It was pretty big. But I like that. So they come in a box. And they seem good, but I don't know. I, I forget the price. I'll have a link in the description to these so you can check them out. Um, we'll see how they work. Obviously, these hitting a shin are going to hurt massively. I'm going to order some shin protection. So for when I'm riding. I also got this, a bag. Right now there's two spare 29 inch tubes. And I need to hook this up under the seat here. And the mountain bike goes down. That's okay. It's a problem when there's no kickstand. <laughs> Um, I'll take this guy off and then I'll mount that here under the seat. However, that all works. So I went ahead and put on that bag. It's a pretty big bag when you're looking at a mountain bike. And I think this is the way it goes on. It has reflective material here. I don't know why it's on top there. And then the Velcro here works really good. It's really sticky Velcro. How in the opening seems correct. I'm pretty sure the logo goes that way, but I don't know the name of it, so I'm not sure. But when you open it, it's like that, and it holds everything like a pocket. Kind of annoying to open, but you're not going to be in it much. Um, I don't like how it attaches up there with the threads. And so I went over, under the nylon, and then over again. I assume that's how it works. There's no instructions, so no idea. That is how this bag looks on this bike with a stock seat, a GT seat, as you can see. Um, from a distance, like that. Might be a little on the big side, I don't know. Maybe I'll downsize once I put the e-bike kit on. Once I order that, get that put on and figure out what I need, don't need, and all that good stuff. Well, there you have it. That's my main two upgrades. Oh yeah, the light. Let's look at the I light. almost forgot. The one other thing I got that's an update is uh, my mother-in-law got me this LED light. It's rechargeable. And this is who makes it. It's pretty bright. Has this mount. And I guess that somehow fits on there. I guess let's go ahead and put that on. I'll show you. So on this light, I notice it has adjustments. I don't know, I like how it holds it on with all that tension, especially on this last one, with a little bit of plastic holding the metal pin. I mean, I technically probably wouldn't have this on all the time. I obviously don't have it aimed right, but you just turn that, there you have it, and you slide that in the groove like that and then I guess I'll adjust it so that is how that LED light would go on one tip is you're gonna want this pointing down a little bit and as you 
put on this back part and pull it tight, it's going to just from down, it's going to pull it up. So that, that, that's about level to where it probably wouldn't be annoying, but obviously you could adjust that e easy enough, you know, at night. And I think it's something you wouldn't leave on all the time. Just a good chance that you would lose this. So probably if you're planning to ride at night. However, I do like the LED light. It's pretty cool. Let's see, there we go. It's bright even in the daytime. It's bright. Let's see, hold it on different levels. It's pretty bright. Really bright, super bright. And to turn it off, you hold it. Somehow you can make it flash too. There you go, you just long press that. And it's a strobe. So you could use that at night just as a strobe. That's pretty cool. Long press, back to a light, press, once it goes off, just let go. If you long press, it's gonna go back to the flashing. So that's a, that's a pretty cool product right there. And as I showed you, it just kind of a difficulty slides. There we go. Slides on, clips in, and there we have it. Yeah, that's not that bad. I like the light a lot. Um, not a fan of this strap, but I mean, I guess if, if I'm worried about it, I could, you know, maybe tether this to the bar or something, find something to somehow attach. I don't know. <laughs> it would be nice if there was a tether point on the back, because then, yeah, you could just tether a piece of string around here. So if you're doing something a little harder, but you need the light, like may maybe you're stuck out on single track at night, by mistake, then it's still with you even if you were to lose this. That's the update for the GT Avalanche. Got the pedals, got the bag, and got a light. More stuff's gonna come in. It's been cold, so I've been slow at this. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out my Amazon affiliate link in the description because it helps the channel out and you're doing your normal shopping. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.